After my last video, people were asking how long of flight times I got with my Sunny Sky motors on my tricopter. I thought that was a very good question, so I decided to go test it. I made a dumb mistake and forgot to record the first minute 39 of the flight, so I just had to add that on to the totals. But right around 10 minutes, this happened. So here's the aftermath of the crash you just saw. The rear arm broke off, and the little wooden plate for the GoPro came off too. Um, that's nothing bad, that's really easy to fix, but I'm just wondering what caused it. Um, you saw how it just flipped kind of forward towards the front left motor. Um, I'm thinking it's a brownout, because I use Spectrum, and Spectrum is just dumb like that. Um, but, also, I just got this new motor up in the front. It's the same exact motor but I needed to replace one because it had the other one had bad bearings but um, you may know that um, know that Sunny Sky motors come with different they're weird connectors but they're like exactly the same as bullet connectors they fit exactly in a 3.5 millimeter female bullet connector so I was just like oh it's getting dark I'll just put these on because they fit exactly in there and metal to metal it's still transferring power. Wasn't the motor wasn't any hotter than the other ones, it ran just as fast and had just as much power as every other one. All the ESCs had their green lights like normal. They were all the same temperature. So it kinda leaves it down to either the KK2 or my receiver. But I don't really see how the KK2 could do that, because I hadn't KK2 wouldn't, you know, mess with the my inputs. I li Once it flipped, I instantly jammed my sticks back to try to counteract it, but nothing happened. So I have a feeling it's a brownout, but now I just need to figure out if I want to get an LRS for a Futaba radio that I have. I have a Futaba radio with a module in the back, so I need to figure out if I want to get um, an LRS to replace it for all the time. Or get like uh, Free Sky or FR Sky or however you say that. So if you have any suggestions for that, that would be great. But yeah. Um, otherwise, the actual flight times, I was at like 10:39 for the flight time, and I was only at like 65% throttle. So I would say add another three to five minutes. So like, uh, what, 13 to 15 more minutes? Well, 13 to 15 minutes, I would say this can fly which is amazing considering it was carrying a GoPro and a 2200 3 cell and it was only using a 2200 3 cell which is another amazing fact but yeah this kind of was a failed test but again if you have any suggestions on what I should get to replace uh, for a module um, leave them in the comments or anything or PM me if you want to go into detail of why um, but thanks for watching and I hope you found this somewhat useful